Hey, look at me, bro. My name is Duncan. Yeah. Uh, extraterrestrial doesn't really mean much anymore. Uh, you know, alien, UFO, little green man? Man, these are the terms they use for freaking attention seekers, man. I move over here in Melbourne, they're freaking crazy, man. Freaking. Oh, man. Nowadays, they're all associated with posers and attention seekers. Who would have said that sort of silver source in the air? Like, come on, bro. You serious? God damn. And when I'm not, I'm not, I'm not an attention seeker, that's for sure. When I mean it, I mean it. And we're in the middle of summer. These little parasite creatures are invading the earth right now. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. Here, let me give me a sec. Give me a sec. Man, this is your face mask. In a time like this, you see everybody using them. But lucky for us, that's what they, that's what they use. That's what they do just trick us, man. You see my eyes? I'm not lying. Man, probably read the body snatches, right? This is like exactly like it, bro. Don't worry, though. This one's dead. I'll show you. How, you, you see this? Terminated. Cause I'm such a freaking alpha male. God damn, bro. Man, these three appendages on this on the underside, they're slither in your esophagus and nostrils, man. At that point, they're in total control of your body. It's terrifying. I know, man. Terrifying. It's crazy. You can refer to me as the great prophet, Raghu. Just joshing around, Dad. He, uh, he doesn't really like me being faithful to a different god. None of them do, actually. The whole family's Catholic, you see. I, on the other hand, am an avid believer of Pastafarianism. You might not have heard of it. It's quite unfair. Pastafarianism isn't really accepted as a religion by most. People think it's a joke, but I say no to them. It is a serious belief and should be treated as such. Think about this for a second. Was Christ accepted at first? No, he wasn't. He was crucified and he became a martyr. I too see myself and the other Pastafarians as holy martyrs. Am I actually Jesus? No, I don't even believe in him anymore. I guess you could say that I'm more of a second coming. One that the flying spaghetti monster has birthed to spread his teachings to the world. But is the world ready for him yet? That I cannot answer. I've been making progress on a cure to this contagion. The results have been promising. Maybe asking, who are you? Well, I'm the man who's going to save this world from COVID-19. You can call me Dr. Edgar. And yes, I am a licensed practitioner. I have my license right here. Okay, question one. What should you do when a patient has a common cold? One band-aid? No. Two band-aid? No, that's not enough. Administer a high dose of morphine. Okay, that was easy. Maybe being a doctor isn't as hard as they make it out to be. Question two. What is a common remedy for polio? Cough syrup? Crushed aspirin and ibuprofen? High dose of morphine injected directly into the spine, of course. All of the above. Well, I mean... The more the merrier, right? So I guess all of the above. Oh man, this is easy. What substance should be administered to a patient as a painkiller? Morphine, brain surgery, intense palliative care, or tranquilizer? I mean, every other question had morphine in it, right? So I guess morphine, because I mean, that's the pattern. What should be done if a patient reports suffering from mental illness? Recommend to a psychiatrist immediate lobotomy, offer appropriate drugs, i.e. antidepressants. Uh, well, I mean, lobotomy sounds like a, a smart, fancy word, so I guess that one. Hey, I got it right. Yes, I passed. This right here is my boy, Gabigal. Train this sort of guy with the, as my alarm to, well, become... My alarm. And he hunts down little creatures, little parasite creatures, and screams like an Azerbaijanian banshee. The one's from the north, actually. Yeah, I'll give you an example. Hold on, give me two seconds. Yeah. Here. Gabagool. Gabagool? Uh, he's probably asleep. Like, give me two seconds. Yeah, Gabagool. Gabagool. 
One sec, one sec. <laughs> Take a look at this stupid crucifix I found outside. Got some weird Christian word on it. <sighs> Pranked. <laughs> so it turns out my father discovered the cross I flipped upside down in the garden. He really wasn't happy about that. It also turns out that it was a grave marker for my mum's old dog, Misha. So she really, really wasn't happy about that. Father confiscated my uncooked bags of linguine and also tortellini that I keep hidden in my closet. But he doesn't know about the fettuccine egg tape under my pillow. Helps me sleep. I probably shouldn't be saying this, but uh, I've collected some very, very nice materials for this cure. Um, you may have heard the news that some certain elements may have gone missing from a certain nuclear power plant. Uh, particularly polonium, uranium, uh, and plutonium. Uh, I wasn't involved uh, or anything, I'm just saying. Uh, it's kind of funny, you know? Uh, anyway, let uh, the trials begin. <gasps> oh my god, yes. Oh my god, it worked. It actually worked. Oh, oh god, that smells terrible! It's like hell out there. What is going on? Our pastor who art in heaven, swallowed be thy carbonara. Thy will be done on our great meatball as it is in heaven. Give us this penne, our daily dolmio. Forgive our carb intake as we forgive those who intake carbs against us. Ramen. Father found my pillow fettuccine, and that's the final straw. It's time for payback. Heretic! False idol! Chucklehead! We many compromised humans being captured by these face huggers. Man, that garbage. I gotta, I gotta freaking take some extra steps to protect me and my Gabagool. Peace out, boy! Supplies at though. What the hell? Oh, there we are. Oh, no worries. We'll just get it real quick. Hold on. Let me, let me just get this. Man, I already locked myself out, man. God damn, I barricaded. Yo, Gabigo, you okay, boy? I have to test it. I, I have to for the good of humanity. Oh, that's bad. Oh, well, time to go down in history as the man who saved planet Earth. <coughs> My parents have asked me to come out to a meeting. 
I think they might actually be finally willing to accept me as a Pastafarian. Really did take them a long time though. Barnabas, we love you very much. Your mother and I understand that you have not chosen to believe in what we do. And that's okay. Really? Yes. Well, it is. Just not in this household. Wait, what? They, uh, they kicked me out. They just don't get it. And I don't think they ever will. <laughs>